make the omelets in the morning. Carrie Maletto is joining us. Yes. Always great to have you back. Thank you. And Carrie, we kind of try to flip it. We try to toss it. <laughs> we put in the spinach, the cheese, the bacon, and then it just falls apart. And yep. it's so frustrating, but yeah. we love to have an omelet. You get Absolutely. so much protein yeah. in an omelet. It's lower calories. It's only 70 calories in one egg. That's right. So imagine now being able to have the perfect omelet every single time. Every That's single time. what we get with Holstein. <laughs> and if you have priced or you've fallen in love with Holstein, whether it's our little pie makers, yes. this is the brand new launch for birthday month. And this is the everyday nonstick omelet maker. We have a special exclusive configuration for birthday month at the lowest price ever. If you thought we were busy on the hefty, we're gonna jam the lines here because yes. we have several colors. We have it in the red, the teal, we have it in the black. Guess what guys, we're gonna do something extra special and we're going to include the bowl with the great little hand, rubberized handle like a silicone handle and then you're getting the whisk coming included as well. On free shipping, $29.95 for all three pieces and with four flexible payments of $7.49. Carrie, it's this crazy. Is, this is crazy. <laughs> it is. It's really good. You know what? Since I've had this, I have made the most perfect omelets, and you can too. Holstein wants to right. make it easy in the kitchen. That's what we always work so hard to okay. do for you. So I'm going to start right away because I want these to be finished. Did you, you see the sizzle? sizzle? I did. So all you have to do is plug this in, and it takes about two minutes for it to warm up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put my eggs in both sides, and here's where it becomes super duper mm. easy. Say one of you wants bacon and cheese in your household, and the other says, I don't want any meat at all. I just want tomatoes and then let's pop some cheese in there. So all I've done is I have two different omelets in one machine, and all we're going to do is close the lid, and that is it. I'm going to wait about seven to 10 minutes, so, so it I depends. So I can walk away. Walk away, you don't have to worry about a thing, hands-free, place in what you want. We're gonna come back, and we're actually gonna talk about that one when it's ready, but okay. let's talk about this one that we started right mm. before the airing. Look at this, look at this, I get so excited. I just like squealed. Okay, so listen. <laughs> There is no way on the planet you can get an omelet that has this perfect shape, this perfect fluffiness. Follow me over here. I'm going to actually put this right here on the plate. Your brunches are going to be absolutely perfect. Think about inviting people over. Think about how you're going to garnish. We're gonna, we could take some garnishing on the top. Look have at that. you ever seen an omelet that is this fluffy? It's the fluff that's hard to get. Because Seriously. even when you're cooking it on the, on the pan and it gets Ow. stuck, you can't get that. Look at how fluffy. This is like restaurant quality. Set like, it down. Look what okay. happens. Oh, sorry. Look what happens. Look She's what like, happens. Set it down. Like, set it down. Look what we're going to do Don't here. Don't touch. This is going to get crazy business. Okay, so Ooh, a little is, hollandaise. Like, mm, okay. Almost? And then we're going to wow. do right on the top. How much would you pay? to go to a nice restaurant and do this. You can do this at home. You can have brunches that are out of this world. Think about this weekend. You have so many people coming over. We're right. all celebrating with family. We're home. How mm -hmm. nice would it be to have this? Now let's go ahead and set up our next. Okay. All right. Because we have the bowl, because you have the whisk, now we're going to do that first part. So right. what okay. do you like in your omelets? I love spinach. Okay. So we're going to do love egg. feta. So we're going to do a little spinach. And a girl got to have her bacon. We're going to do, do a bacon? little feta. Okay. I like peppers. Okay. So we'll do Is a little pepper. Is this too much? No. <laughs> That's onion. the most amazing part. Okay. I like onions. Okay. So we're going to do a little onion. We little could little. do tomato too. A little tomato. So that imagine at your house you've set out that's in good. the morning a little station where you put out mm -hmm. all the yummies. So maybe you just got station. your hefty. Use your hefty containers and put all the sides in there. Okay. Cute. Pop this in and then I'm going to get with my whisk and I'm going to go and beat up my eggs. Okay. And it's always important to make sure that you do get either, you know, usually a little milk, a little water in there. That'll make it actually usually extra fluffy. But with this, I can do straight up eggs. I don't have to worry about right. any additions. Now, here's what I love about this bowl. Do you see how my fingers fit right underneath? Right. It actually has like a little indentation there, so I can actually hold it with ease. It also mm -hmm. has a non-slip bottom, so if, when you're whisking, how many times does your bowl just start flying all over the place? You gotta hold it. With this and the non-slip bottom, it won't move on you while you're whisking. And so, you get the whisk. And I you mean, get the whisk. Is that crazy? Yeah, so look, all I'm gonna really do is pour it in. Now with the omelet maker, you can go a little lower or you can go higher with this. So if you wanna do less amount of eggs, you can, or you can do up to about two or three eggs per side. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you do less, just know it'll be a flatter omelet. But if you fill it right to the top, as you saw that I've done here, that's how it's going to be that nice, full, thick mm -hmm. omelet. And, you know, Carrie, we can customize our omelet. Yeah. So you can customize it. If you like, like my husband still likes his like a little bit moist, like
like not okay. cooked all the way, gotcha. you can control that. I like mine where like here you can see it's got a little bit of that crisp golden brown on it. I love that. So you can control it how you want it done. You set it, walk away That's and it. forget it. It could not be easier, but look at the breakfast, look at the brunch. So even nice. I love to have a breakfast for dinner sometimes. Yeah. You can even make different fun little things in here if you wanted to for the kids. But the nice thing is, is you also get the bowl. You get the whisk coming included. If you want the red, the red by far is already the most limited. Mm -hmm. And we've only got about 3,000 of these to go around. So red, we have it in the teal and we have it in the black. You're getting the bowl with that silicone base, the silicone handle. Plus you've got little measurements in here as well on this side, kind of hard to see in the white. And then look how pretty the whisk is. Just kind of a little fun extra that you're getting included. But I'm gonna walk back over to Carrie because I want you to see the reveal. Ooh. Look at this. So now, you know, a lot of us have to do egg substitutes. So right. no problem in our makers. So over here, we've done our egg whites, or you can do the, um, that comes inside the box. You know what I'm talking about here. And so the eggs that you have to get, maybe that come like this. So if that is something that you have to watch out for in your diet, this cooks them all. Oh, so man. we're gonna go back again. So we showed those, but let's start again. So here we've got our egg whites. Right. Let's do one that's maybe a little savory because that's what we made here. So now maybe you wanna do eggs for dinner. I like to do I that do sometimes. Too. So now you can throw in, I, I say no extras go to waste. I'm gonna put some chicken in here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pepper. Maybe I wanna do some potatoes. What? Mm. Okay, what's nice about this is you can go in any direction that you want. And maybe I'm gonna finish it off with some tomato. We could do broccoli. We could do broccoli, do that, because it's nice and savory, sure it thing. So we're gonna do a little broccoli. And then again, we're oh, just gonna pretty. get in here and we're gonna whisk it. And because it's egg whites, you know, it's not gonna have as much fluffiness because it's the fat in the yolk that's gonna make it fluff. Mm -hmm. However, I love the fact that even still, they come out nice and beautiful in our makers. Now, what's nice Nice again, picky eaters, not a problem because no matter what, you can do two different omelets or if you're by yourself in a particular morning, you can go ahead and just do one side. Oh, so you don't have to fill both. You don't have to fill both if you don't want to. Now what's nice about this, it's non-stick top and bottom and I always want to point that out because if for any reason you have overflow or anything goes over, it wipes right out. Notice right. how I was serving an omelet and then starting a new omelet right away. I don't have to worry because of that non-stick, it's absolutely easy to keep moving. It is. Is even if you wanted to take like a little bit, if you have salmon left over and you want to do salmon with a special like Gouda cheese yeah. with the egg, I mean, could you imagine like really going gourmet? So you really can have fun with this. It's so easy to do. Yep. Use express order and we've got free shipping. Plus you've got those four flexible payments of $7.49 to be able to get this at home. Um, this is all about making life easier for you. A lot of us, I can raise my hand included, we grab a little bar and run out the door. Yep. We never have breakfast. Do you know most nutritionists will tell you, don't skip breakfast. Yeah. How many times, I've heard it even since I was a little kid from my mom, we've got to have our breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Now we, I was just channeling my mom. Oh. <laughs> Um, now we can do that and this is simple it's healthy it's easy you can put in your veggies if you would like if you want to get your broccoli you want to get you know your onions your spinach I love spinach to put in an omelet now what did you just make there did. was that dessert this is a dessert so if you really now obviously it's an omelet maker but here's what's so cool mm -hmm. you can do your fruit turnovers in this so if you want to do we just did an apple turnover and now we're going to load it with our cherry turnover can I ask what kind of dough did you like so how? just a pie crust a pie if crust? you know how to make your own pie crust, you could do that. But we, we bought these in the store, so you can okay. actually just buy them in your frozen food section. You're going to prep them out. And then and can then we just fill them with anything? Anything. We they actually have pie fillings that come in the can. If you have your own fresh vegetables and fruits that you have and you want to do that, you can. We've done everything from stromboli type ideas. Um, this is so open to your imagination. So because it's top bottom cooking, just make sure that you know. If it, My suggestion with this, I'm going to come back in about five minutes and flip it because I want it to brown equal equally on both sides and because this sits a little lower and it won't pop up as much as an egg will oh, I just want to come back and flip it just so okay. I make sure both sides are browned it'll cook both sides but I like to turn it over that's just my little hint on that so okay. all we do is load it 
and pop it down. Nothing else to do. Look how perfect that came out. That's so if you want to kind of have a different idea of how to use this, it can go all the way to sweets. Look at how does it, now you could put a scoop of vanilla ice cream yeah. on top, drizzle a little chocolate on there, put some raspberries or blueberries and really dress it up. You can do that. But think about, so now it's not just an omelet maker, it's your dessert maker as well. Absolutely. So I want to talk about the fact of how easy these are to store. Okay. Um, not only that, but we're also giving you a menu book that's coming with, with six different ideas of different types of omelets. Yes. The thing about omelets, there's so much you can do. So whether you want right. to do the savory omelet, the sweeter omelet, whether a you want vegetable. to do something that's a little more ethnic, you can have fun with this. Absolutely. So I think I've eaten more omelets since I've had this than ever before. I was kind of felt stuck, like I didn't know what to do next. Right. Um, and with this, it gives you so many ideas. That's what's, what's great. And the makers, the way that they store is so important to me. Um, they're a nice size, so you can see them in my hand. They're a nice size, so you don't have to worry they're not too big not too small it's that perfect size but storability the cord actually wraps up in the back and then you can just place this like this right into your cabinet yeah it's a small footprint yes Carrie so we're not really having to worry about it and if you take your hefty that we started the show off with yeah. and you put your peppers your onion your spinach your bacon and then you store it that way and there's only 30 left of the storage container so those are almost virtually sold out this is the way that you're going to be prepared in the morning you can do it quick fast easy if you're trying to get the kids off to school you're an empty nester maybe it's just you and you don't want to be able to dirty a million pans in the morning exactly this is so easy to do that now here's the thing about 900 left in the red okay. 900 we're about equal across the board limited oh my nails match that oh that's so perfect <laughs> mine kind of goes with red better yeah, but. <laughs> So here is the blue, which is that your teal, and then we have it in your black. And then these are little extras. And I love that they match. So if you're, again, if you're getting this one, it's gonna match. If you're getting the black, it's gonna match. And if you're getting the red, it's gonna match. Yeah. And you know, think about just a whisk alone, how much that'll cost you out in the marketplace. And a pretty loose size. And I've seen makers like these, you guys, for the, for, for the same or what we're, mm -hmm. we're having them for. And they're not coming with the bowls. They're not coming right. with the whisk. That's something that we love to do for you for to make it exciting. Mom. But um, we're gonna go ahead and check on these. So let's see how far along we have come oh my gosh. and sure enough here are some beautiful omelets ready to go again and I want to show you as I take these out again however you like your eggs if you like them a little a little less a little more you can go ahead and just keep checking it okay so sometimes I do that if I want them round a little bit more um, but here I'm gonna pop that guy there I'm gonna pop him over here and look at the inside I want to point this out again yeah. because of non-stick literally there's minimal runoff that happened and all I have to do is is take a wet cloth and wipe it down and my maker's clean and I'm ready to go again I'm ready to put it away let's make another omelet easy as could be let's make another omelet okay so what do we want to do this time oh uh, let's do it in the bowl okay you want to do it in the bowl so I'm gonna go ahead and put my egg fine so we have egg now what uh well cheese you cheese, always gotta put cheese you always gotta put cheese you always gotta put How cheese about sausage? We didn't so do a sausage oh we didn't one. do sausage okay and you can put as much or as little as you would like. Absolutely. How about some onion? A little onion, uh, a go little for it. little onion. Uh, tomato, tomato's always good. You know, and I would say, whatever you Finger have left in your fridge, this makes the usable way to get everything that's left in your fridge from nights before to use it, so nothing goes to waste. Whenever I make an omelet, I always look for what I have in my vegetable drawer, my fruit drawer, because it's like, you can literally put anything into your egg. You can. All right, cool. And, and remember, so these come you included. You guys, I want everybody to see how nice this like, is. And show how easy it is to hold it. Look, there you go. You can hold it. Part. It's got a nice little lip and it's all rubberized. And then it even has a pour spout. So it's not going to kind of make a mess everywhere. And it's all non-stick. Notice I didn't have to use like any spray. There you go. You guys, So now if I just wanted, so, so, so again, easy. if I wanted less eggs, so you see how that side has a little bit more. So I'm just going to fill this because I, I do recommend if you want them nice and fluffy, like how they came out, get right to the edge. So you'll see right at the top. So sometimes you might just need to put a little bit more, but they will still cook perfectly fine if you don't go to the edge. They're just not going to be as fluffy as you saw that how it rise up. Right. It's going to be more flat. So if that's what you want, that's totally fine. You could even crack your egg right into the maker if you wanted to. Oh. Um, but if you want to get them nice and fluffy, make sure you mix them first because that's what's going to add, of course, all that's those. Fluffy. Yeah, exactly. I, I challenge you. 
I just seriously challenge you. I don't think you could make an omelet this fluffy, this I can't. good, this evenly cooked, doing it yourself without the, the Halstein. To be able to get it at home, we've already, we're about to cross that threshold of a thousand sold, use express ordering. This is brand new for birthday month. This is the only airing of the holiday weekend. So you're not gonna see this later. It's the morning. We're waking up on Sunday. Yeah. We're kind of having fun. We're relaxing because we know we have Monday off or hopefully you have Monday off to celebrate you know, our Independence Day, what? America's Independence Day. This is the way yes. you cook for your family. This is the way, even if it's just you and you're single and you're home by yourself, this is how you have a delicious, healthy breakfast. It's so important. Totally. Even if you want to do your desserts in here, nonstick, the cleanup is a breeze. No one wants to be stuck in the kitchen cleaning all these different pans no, and bowls. No, I do not. That's the worst part for me. And yeah. eggs are so tough because usually they're always getting stuck in your pan. You're <laughs> always, and then when you go to flip it, that's when it gets stuck, right? And all the brown stuff's at the bottom, and you're like, I wanted that browned edge. Look how nice yeah. and browned these are. Again, we're going to just finish it off with a little bit of hollandaise. Okay, oh you my. You like the hollandaise oh sauce. Oh, mm. because it's perfect. it's perfect. Okay, when you put that on, then you just top it a little bit like this. Some I'm chives. telling you, you're thinking about it right now. Right now, if you had this at home, how would it be to brunch a little mimosa? And off now you go. I'm talking. Now, now you don't have talking. to go anywhere. Family can stay at home and be comfortable. And you look like a superhero. Yes, you I do. Mean, you I made know. breakfast for your family and no mess in the kitchen. I mean, yeah. that's wonderful. Four 